this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video, supporting the channel. I appreciate that. Well, to a community, uh, you know, we're looking like geniuses now. I've been saying that for, you know, a while and everything. So, you know, you know, some remarkable things have been happening lately. I'm talking about, you know, now, a while back, you know, I was the crazy guy. You know, my family and friends, hey, you buying all this stuff, you, you getting all this stuff, what are you getting prepared for? And, you know, now it's different. My phone calls, I get a different now. You know, people are calling me, man, you was right, man. And, you know, I went in here, they don't got no ammunition or, you know, they only sold me two boxes and stuff. Uh, we recently had a gun show and, man, it was like 500 people before the doors even opened. Man, it was like an hour wait or so to get into the gun show. I'm talking about the gun show was wiped out, like ammunition was his first thing going and everything. So, you know, this is what's going on. And, you know, there's a lot of people that's not prepared. I'm talking about the remarkable thing is that your gun grabbers, the one who telling you that you don't need no farm, you don't need all this stuff, the government can protect you. You know, we got law enforcement and everybody. I'm talking about, hey, what is happening now? The gun grabbers are out buying guns. They admit, it's people who admitting that, you know, they had a change of heart when it comes to the Second Amendment. Now they have a change of heart when it comes to these laws and stuff infringing on the Second Amendment right. You have people who... Never in their life thought they would need to buy a farm until now because of certain things they're seeing, things that is happening. It was one guy, uh, you know, I got a video at the end. I want you to watch and check it out and everything. But, you know, it was one guy said that, you know, he went out and bought a farm because he owned a flower shop and the people was flight, fighting over the last flower, like panic buying. And he said, you know, it opened his eyes and stuff. So there's a lot of people who has been sitting on the sideline and thinking that this was some type of circus. You know, think the two-way community was just having a circus and stuff. We, we weren't having the circus. We was preparing. We was looking down the road what's going on. That's why we fought. That's why we went out and rallied and, and you know, we did all this stuff, putting all this information out to tell people. The Second Amendment is so important. I'm talking about it's very important now when you got people scared and panicking and everything. But it's more important back then when we was talking about it, way before now, years and decades. It was way more important then than it is now. So, you know, nothing has changed when it comes to the Second Amendment. But it just shows you how important it is. And, you know, at desperate times, you know, it's, for some people, it's desperate measures. You have people now just trying to get something to protect themselves. After all the toilet paper, after all the food and everything, people, you have to protect yourselves at the end of the day. I'm talking about, you know, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care. None of that matters. You have to protect yourself at the end of the day. You have to be prepared. And, you know, what we're seeing now, we're seeing a runoff on all these ammunition farms, the online play. I'm talking about, you know, there are so many people when I said on my video last year, and I talked about this uh, for a minute, when I told you, how devastating this is going to be when you have local retailers pretty much cutting the citizen off for buying farms and stuff like that, ammunition and stuff, how it affects people. And a lot of you say, well, you know, I buy my farms, I buy my ammunition farms online. And you see what happened when you have the run on what we have now, the ammunition farms online, you lot of, a lot of the online people, they're out of stock or either they don't stop taking orders. And you know what people don't understand, hey, you can't get UPS and FedEx out there if you have a lot of crazy stuff going on in the streets. There's no law enforcement. Amazon is not going to deliver your order. You have to think about this kind of stuff. And a lot of you that comes to my channel, you out of the box. You think you thought about this stuff. A lot of you, I watch the channels. I watch y'all, y'all just stocking and preparing and ordering, you know, ammunition online. You you was going to get your stuff in. I'm, to my, I'm not a genius up here to say, hey, I knew this was going to happen. No, nobody knew this was going to happen. But we knew that somewhere something happened. We, meet, we must be prepared. The people on the stock market, all the professionals that you see trading stocks, all, to my, all the billionaires, they didn't know that what we're dealing with was going to come and take down the market over 10,000 points. Nobody knew that. But you have the billionaires that prepare for it. They had cash. They wasn't buying stocks. They would stockpiling cash and stuff just in case. 
But when you have the average investor out there just dumping money into the market, don't know what's going on, and then they feel the pain. Panic selling and stuff like that. So I'm talking about on both, on either, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing in this country, you got to be prepared. I'm talking about you have people better prepared in certain situations than others. Some people might be financially prepared in a situation like this than others. Some people might be prepared for as protection. Some people might be prepared for as food and supplies. Everybody has certain areas that they're strong in. So, you know, what this has taught me that I have to look at everything in my life. You have to be prepared for everything, not just one thing or this thing, everything. So what we have now is a run on every single thing. You know, first the toilet paper, the paper towels. Then second, people started running on canned food and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Survival um, gear. I'm talking about all this stuff. Masks. Look, think about it, people. You have some people now that, you know, would never thought they would see this day. I'm talking about, yes, we pictured some of these days. A lot of us that have been stockpiling and preparing and stuff. We pictured that this day can come. But nobody knows when. That's why they call it being prepared. And everything that you have bought, I have bought, I'm to my, some people say, well, you know, I don't need all that kind of stuff. Well, go out to the grocery stores now. Go stand out to the gun shop, in front of the gun shops. Say that right now. And see what these people tell you. I'm to my, you have gun shops now, a limited to, you know, one pack of ammunition, or two, two cases, whatever the case may be. I'm to my, you know, you having people who are going to the gun shop who was saying, hey, we don't need these type of guns. We don't need these guns for protection. They're not saying it now. All your politicians, uh, they're aware, they got security. We're, we're still paying, we're still paying for their security. Uh, they're not worried about it with law enforcement and stuff and can't make it to their house because, hey, they got secret service and they, you know, we're, we're paying for their security and stuff like that. Bloomberg still got his security. I'm talking about all you can, Joe Biden got his security. All these people. Who are running and say, hey, they want to take your guns, take away your second amendment and everything. They got their security. And now, as citizens in this country, we see how important it is for us to have our security. Because, you know, like I said, a lot of people depend on the government. They depend on 911 and, and somebody supposed to come out. What about if that can't happen? What about if there's not enough law enforcement out there? So now it's kicking in to a whole lot of people. Now you have people, like I said before... That was on the other side saying, hey, we need to take your, take your guns. We need to take this. And you're still going to have some of the gun grabbers. They, I still hear, you know, I still hear some of the Reddit out there talking about, well, you know, we don't just need to put more guns out there because, you know, safety reasons and more guns you put out there, the more accidents and stuff that you happen. I'm talking about, you're going to have those things. You, you're going to have that. You, you, you got people getting driver license every single day and they still having car wrecks and all this kind of stuff. You, some of the things, they're, they're still going to happen. But it's up to you. It's up to you to make sure that you, you're protecting your family. But also, you take, you know, you're putting safety first in everything that you do. Don't care how much experience you got around farms. Having all these farms and all this kind of stuff don't make you absent from accidents. So, you know, that's one thing we keep perspective over here. Safety first. But, you know, I got a video that I want to show y'all and everything. People prepare people, stay calm and everything. But for the ones who have been here through the thick and thin, listening, you've been out there preparing, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the good comment and everything. I appreciate the energy. I appreciate all y'all for what you did for this channel, all the information y'all been bringing. But guess what? Y'all look like geniuses now. Y'all look like geniuses. The mainstream media just trying to, they trying to skirt around this thing and everything. They're talking about the cruise ships and all this. But now they're starting to face reality that people are fear. And they, they want to protect themselves and everything. So I just wanted to shoot this video and just show y'all and just congratulate all the ones who've been out there preparing. Everybody in the 2A community, everybody who fighting for the Second Amendment and everything. Because guess what? Uh, you know, we're looking like geniuses now. But, you know, one thing we must keep respect, we're still keeping our foot on the gas. We're still going to fight for the Second Amendment. It's not over, people. This don't solve nothing. This not taking away the gun grabbers' ideas and stuff. But guess what? This does put some stuff in perspective. We're still keeping the fight over here. So this is D-Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. Store managers tell me they're seeing people who'd never even considered owning a firearm now lining up by the dozens to get one. Um, are you looking for one to carry or just looking for one to have? At Second Amendment Sports, 
It's an arms race. Guns, ammo, handguns, long guns, rifles, shotguns. General Manager Chris LaJoy said lines 60 people long started forming last Wednesday. Just know that I'm kind of backlogged on my on my warehouse right now. And business hasn't slowed down. When, when times like this and people are prepping and everything like that, they want to feel safe. So that's why they're purchasing firearms, whether it's because of the coronavirus or because of the economic thing and everything like that. People are buying ammo and stuff to, to feel safe. Many of them are buying a gun for the first time, and they're not getting just one. Some are stocking up on as many as six firearms. Nine millimeters nowhere to be found. It's as bad as finding toilet paper or water right now. And to keep from selling out, the store is rationing ammunition to no more than two packs per household. I feel like the need is now. Estevan Garcia purchased his first gun yesterday, triggered by the hordes of shoppers emptying grocery store shelves. No, this virus is just pushing it, I guess, you know, and it's just scary. People start fighting over, over really stupid things. Gabriel Keller decided to bite the bullet after he saw a fight break out at his flower warehouse over the last of his white roses. It, it was, it was a, a wake-up call. That wake-up call for many now becoming a call to arms. When everybody goes into panic, then it, it, it doesn't matter what the virus is doing. Everybody's in a panic mode. And then there is no respect for law. And for the time being, Second Amendment Sports says they're staying open as long as they can to serve as many customers as possible. Reporting in studio Here Emma in West God. Texas, West Texans are stocking up on guns and ammunition. CBS 7 Jacob Brandenburg explains. We all have different ways of comforting ourselves. Some do it with food, others with maybe a cozy blanket. But for some, it's good old-fashioned firepower. Guns and ammo stores like SK Arms in Midland has seen products flying off the shelves unlike ever before. Yes, yeah, yesterday uh, for a Monday of all days, it was our best sales day since we've been open for the last five years and beat it by about 25%. So it's been, yeah, it's been busy and we're trying to do our best to, you know, maintain our level of customer service our customers are used to, but it's, it's been hectic. I do, I've got one left. It's the one on the wall, unfortunately. I'm told that in times like this, people believe law enforcement can only protect them so much. As good as those guys are, there's still only so many of them. There's obviously a lot more people and citizens, and at the end of the day, you're responsible for yourself. And people understand that and they see that, especially during times of panic and need. Customers range from regular visitors to first-time gun buyers. As usual, the most popular items are handguns. Definitely um, pistols, but we've been seeing a large uptick in, in rifle sales as well, and like fully outfitted rifles with proper optics and ammo and magazines and all the other stuff that goes with it. Like everywhere else, that high demand means some shoppers can't find what they're looking for. Calm down. Leave the groceries. Leave the toilet paper. Leave the ammo for people who actually need it for something. Instead of running around buying everything like maniacs. And while it's Kolasek's job to sell guns, he agrees it's not always the solution. Don't just knee-jerk buy a gun. Buy a gun because you understand the responsibilities that you have as being a gun owner. Wash your hands, treat people right. That's, that's all I ever ask, ever. Reporting in Midland, Jacob Brandenburg, CBS 7 News. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.